Hello, it's Diana from dianamarchand.com. And so what I'm making today is a smoothie. It is just after eight o'clock. And I thought I'd show you how I do my smoothie meal. I don't do it like this. I do <laughs> different, but for display purposes, this is what I'm doing. I have um, everything out in front of me. Now I have a Vitamix. <laughs> it's all worn out in here. A Vitamix blender, which of course is one of the best blenders you can buy, but Another one I highly suggest is the Nutribullet. Nutribullet is one of the best other blenders and there's two, there's a higher um, quality or higher motor, or whatever. So more powerful Nutribullet out now also, but this one is still really good. And this one in Canada is about $99. It's so worth it. I say if you get anything, get a Nutribullet. Um, but I have a Vitamix here, so that's what I'm gonna make it in today. So what do I put in my smoothies? I get asked this all the time. Now, when I'm making a green smoothie, I do not put in berries because berries in a, but you can, you can if you want. Berries in a green smoothie make it brown and I do not like the taste myself. Because of what I put in my green smoothie, I like using lighter colored. Okay, so the lighter colored fruits, I use a mixture. You can buy bags of fruits. You can buy bags of mixtures of fruits, right? This one has some pineapple, papaya, and mango. Uh, and here I have some frozen banana that I froze myself. And then just some frozen pineapple. And I love frozen pineapple. Love it. So those are tend, that tends to be what I put in it. You know, um, I, I am not, I can't eat a lot of banana. Doesn't agree with me. So these are just three small chunks. Now, if you are somebody who banana is fine with, then you can have a little more banana, right? But, and I also am adding cucumber. Here's some chunks of cucumber and some grapefruit. I would add more grapefruit, but this is kind of a really tar tart grapefruit. It's like, whoa, so I'm not adding too much. You can add half an orange. And people ask a lot about sugar. Oh my God, is the sugar bad in it? If you have just a smoothie with just fruit, yes, then that is gonna spike your blood sugar levels more, of course. If you combine it with some things I'm showing you in this video, that helps a lot. Also, juices are different than smoothies. Juices don't have the whole fruit. They don't have the fiber of the fruit. Smoothies have the fiber of the fruit. That way it doesn't spike your blood sugar as much. And also it keeps you fuller longer. Fiber. So what do I put in my smoothie? I start with water. Do not use almond milk or any kind of milk or, or yogurts in mine at all. You do not need to. Um, for one, it's just, if you're trying to lose weight, it's just extra fat you do not need. If you're thinking it adds a lot of protein and calcium and stuff, wrong. <laughs> It's probably more acidic for your body, not very good. Okay, so I have some water. Now this is a, I'm not gonna add all this. I kind of go by eye. I really don't measure. And I often make two. So you'll see I'll make a big batch enough for almost two smoothies. So this is probably almost two. I mean, it's a cup is down here. So it's a cup and a half or more. But I'm just gonna start adding. That's about how much I usually add. Yeah, it's pretty much that where that level is, but that's me, right? You gotta find what works for you. You guys, it doesn't matter the measurements so much. It really doesn't. Start with less, add more if you want more. So I'm gonna add in my cucumber and my grapefruit. I do not add all this fruit that I showed you. <laughs> I'm gonna add the little three pieces of banana though, and then I'm gonna add some of this fruit. Like I just take like little handfuls, right? And then some of my pineapple. I think that's probably good. So I actually have this amount of fruit about left, right? So I don't use like tons and tons. If you read some recipes, they tell you to use a ridiculous amount, right? And that's where it can get a little crazy. And so I also add, today I'm gonna to add some romaine lettuce, always some fresh greens, always. Romaine lettuce. I have kale, and this is a big bag of mixed green. Kale, Swiss chard in here. A few types of kale and a few types of Swiss chard. So I'm gonna add some Swiss chard. And parsley is also excellent in your smoothie. Very refreshing. And parsley is good for iron. And it's really highly alkaline, as well as it's got some good chlorophyll in there. So look at the parsley. That's These are all organic greens. When you're making a smoothie, make sure you use organic greens, right? Because greens cannot protect themselves. They are organic. So what I do, first of all, is I'm going to add these. And I'm going to show you some of the super powders. I have something called Camu Camu, which is very high in vitamin C, way more than oranges, 
pure berry, no fillers, no junk. Way better than taking a vitamin C pill, absolutely. You can buy it, uh, I think this whole package is $24 or something, you get tons. How much do I use? Well, I use about anywhere from two teaspoons to almost a tablespoon, I'd say, I never measure, I'll show you why. And then I also use something called chlorella because I cannot have spirulina. So I suggest you buy a green powder blend at a health food store, a really good green powder blend, and it will have a lot of really good powders in it, but I can't have spirulina, so I have to separate my powders. So I have a chlorella, which it's an LJ, and that contains a lot of minerals and trace minerals, as well as, of course, tons and tons of chlorophyll, which helps um, purify our blood. It's highly alkaline, it helps our body to detoxify. It's just fantastic and it's full of protein, really high in protein. I also use wheatgrass powder, which is another really highly um, detoxifying. It's a grass actually, but it's not wheat. There's no gluten in it. So it's a wheatgrass powder. This is like, you've heard of wheatgrass, like the, the drink. Well, this is the powder from it. Pure, 100% pure, just wheatgrass powder. I love putting that in. It's highly alkaline, really detoxifying for our body, full of antioxidants and minerals again. And I also use a protein powder. Now I use, I've used many different protein powders and I'm kind of always searching for another one. I found this one, which many of you may not want, but it's full of mushrooms, medicinal mushrooms. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's got lots of different kinds of mushrooms in it. It has a bit of stevia and a bit of vanilla flavoring, which I usually don't get. But, um, it's organic and vegan and it's called Veggie Pro. It's a vet and it actually tastes quite good, I have to admit. But there's many kinds of protein powders, so find one that works for you. That's so important. But what I do with my powders is I actually pre-mix them in a container like this. That way I don't have to open every one and do this. I just take a heaping tablespoon of this or whatever, a teaspoon and put it in there and I'll show you what I mean. So here's my powders mixed up in here. Not my protein powder, just my chlorella, uh, wheatgrass and my camo camo. So I'll take about that much. Sometimes a little more, right? And pour it in there. And then chia is also excellent. It's high in fiber, high in omega-3s. It cleanses. I mean, it helps to de to cleanse through our um, digestive system. So um, chia is really good. So I don't put it in dry. I actually hydrate my chia which is very important. If you try to consume chia dry, it's gonna suck all the moisture from you. So you wanna make sure it's with water, like about one tablespoon of chia and about six tablespoons of water makes a gel. And I'll show my chia gel so you can see I've mixed it with water and it turns out like a gel. Now I often make a batch and keep it in the fridge like this. So all I have to do is put it in my smoothie. Now I often have chia gel in the morning with grapefruit or blueberries, so that alone separately. I didn't today, so I'm putting it in my smoothie. You can do both. You can also add some hemp seeds in your smoothie, right? You can add a bit of flax. Now if you're using ground flax, start with a little. Otherwise, it's really heavy for you, so like maybe a tablespoon to two just to begin, right? So I've got my super powders in here. I've got my, my fruit in here and my chia gel. And like I said, you can add anything else in there. You can add some pumpkin seeds. Um, pumpkin seeds are good for helping our body rid ourselves and they kill the parasites if we have any parasites. So often I add some pumpkin seeds in here, like just a bit though. Or you can even add a bit of almonds in here, right? If you want it a bit more creamier. If you have a high speed blender, it works perfect. That's why I like it. So I'm just gonna blend this a little bit. Then I add my greens, okay? All right, now some people like their smoothies thick. I myself don't like my smoothies that thick. So I'm gonna be different than you. So this is what I mean. You, if you try to follow someone else's recipe all the time, you may not like it. <coughs> you really, really have to learn what you like and what works for you. You can add a bit of celery in here if you have a high speed blender. You can add way more cucumber than I did. So mine's about, you'll see when I pour it. So now I have, and now look at how much is in there, right? Eh? Now I'm going to add my fresh greens. Now this is a double batch, right? So like I said, but if you only want one, I suggest having two a day. So I'm just gonna work at it so they're pretty clean. <clears throat> my romaine. Then I'm gonna use just, if you don't, oh my God, what a mess. Gonna add some parsley, so messy. And then, I have a leaf of 
of uh, Swiss char. I'm gonna wash this up and add it. Now here it is. I took it off the stem, the big stem. Some people use the stems. I'm not too much a fan of that. Oh, my nose. All right, what else do we have in here? Now oh, here's another green Swiss char, some green Swiss char. All right, so now I have my thing full of greens and I'm just gonna blend it. Okay, now I blended everything and it is in here. So I usually pour some in my, this is the mug I usually use, it's a ceramic one. It's hard for you to see it, isn't it? <laughs> All right, and I'll pour some in here. Now, I always suggest, where can you see me doing this, geez? So I still have quite a bit left over. Usually I don't make it that big, actually. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's the way I like it. I did forget to put lemon juice in. Often I put lemon juice in, but because that has a grapefruit, that's okay too. But um, smoothies are, they're just a way to start your day with really a lot of nutrition, especially if you add in some of these super powders and of course a good clean protein powder. And you've got your chia for protein and omega-3s. You've got some hemp seeds for protein and omega-3s. Um, and, and like I said, these super powders have protein in them and minerals and vitamins and antioxidants. It's really how we need to start the day because we need to feed and fuel ourselves as well as our brain. If you want to function your night, if you want to think clear, if you want to have focus, if you want your brain to work properly, don't you need to feed it? Doesn't it make sense? A piece of toast and peanut butter or almond butter is not feeding it, you guys. That is not food. You need to hydrate first thing in the morning. So smoothies are extremely hydrating especially if you add some chia gel because that is hydrating for your body. It's also good for endurance and energy, chia gel is. If you have two of these a day, I make a double batch. I can store one for later in the afternoon when you start getting that slump, it gives you more energy or eat it on the way home from work, drink it. <laughs> so that when you get home and you're about to make supper, you're not so starving, right? You've had after the gym, it's a perfect drink for after the gym. So I hope that helped and get making your smoothies to a day would be fabulous. You'll notice huge changes, decrease in your cravings, decrease in inflammation, better looking skin and more energy. All right. Enjoy your day. Bye.